And the stream has started. You can watch the boys warm up as I go get a drink. The Eagles lost last night 59-49 or 51-41. It was one of those two scores. I don't know which, but it was a tough loss. Um, just couldn't shoot, and it really was the downfall. But I will be back. Uh, Regent Prep, I know, lost to Frontier. But you can watch them warm up as I go get a drink. So, I'm back. The Eagles face off against the Regent Prep Rams. You know, I think a better name, because me, me and Fuchs here were talking about Rams is an interesting name. I think it, honestly, this team fits more of like a Royals. Their logo also fits more of a Royals. Their color fits Royals. And the more I say Royals, Royals sounds like a weird word. Community Christian is Royals? I was watching the uh, the game before the girls. Yes. Oh, they just got the ball stuck. Okay. 
I was watching the game before the girls and these parents were like making fun. They were like, oh, give it to the air ball kid because he had one air ball. And then their kid went to shoot free throws and airballed the first one. And then they proceeded to continue to call that one kid an air ball, like the air ball kid, even though they were winning by 25. Like, not all, you're in your 40s and your kids are winning by 25 points. Consolation, yeah. And you're going to make fun of a kid for shooting an air ball when not only is he carrying his team, but your kid just shot an air ball on a free throw. Uh, it's just ironic. And then every single time that they fouled them, they were like, what? That's not a foul. That's not a foul. Then whenever they got fouled, they were like, yeah, great call. Great call. It's like, pick a... Pick a story. Goodness. Also, I just don't get the the. Like I get I get it from like high school kids, but like you have kids of your own who are their age, and you're making fun of kids that are your kids' age. Like, why? Why? And then you don't even stop if your your kid shoots an air ball. Ugh. Parents are weird. Especially at sporting events. I don't want to become a coach. I will never become a coach, ever. No, I don't. I feel like you would rather have someone that doesn't hit .067 coach your baseball team. I'll coach them to hit .067. I'll be your pitching coach and teach them how to throw 60. <laughs> well, I hope so. Maybe I'll touch 62 this year. The Eagles starting lineup going to be the same as it was this entire tournament. Um, no, it won't, actually. I see Brandon Rodriguez on the bench. Who's, oh, I guess Garrett isn't starting. So it's going to be Hunter Weber, Leighton Choke, Seth Simonek, Garrett Vinson, and JL Torres. James Sims should be back on Tuesday versus Tulsa Chef. At home, finally. But Tulsa Chef, I mean, I, I don't know why I've never heard of this school in my entire life, and I honestly don't blame myself. I look up Tulsa Chef, and it doesn't even show up. Chef of Oklahoma. Okay, this is a, this is a Christian Home Educators Fellowship. Chef Basketball. That is a wacky picture. Whoa, they all look 8 foot 9 tall. 8 foot 9 feet tall. Whoa, how am I supposed to look at this to where it looks normal? Okay. NCHBC 6A Girls 16U Gold Ball Champions? Huh. 2022 too. 7A? Oh, I found their Twitter. Tulsa Chef Arrows. They have a pretty nice stadium. Bill George Arena. I don't, you know, I felt like researching this Tulsa Chef. So that's what I'm doing. I'm probably paying attention to the starting lineup. So the starting lineup for Regent Prep, John Mark Roller, uh, number two, number 14, Elijah Haney, number 11, Carter Smith, number 21, Henry Boshoff, and number 32, Zeke Camp. They all look like football players. And now the boys starting lineup. Seth 
Seth Simonek. Actually, let me... So Regent Prep has one sophomore, one junior, and three seniors. So Seth, Hunter, Brandon, let me guess, Layton. Dang it. Yes, I got it right. Let's go. And Layton and JL. We are brought to you here, HennessyEagles.tv, powered by Skoto. I'm Taylor Ladwig, your cameraman tonight is Coach Fuxa. Regent Prep took a beating versus Frontier yesterday. And the Eagles lost by 10 to Kellyville. Oh, that's why Ponies was in my mind. Yeah, because I was like, you know, Regent seems more of a ponies school but that's because Kellyville is the ponies and they win the tip goes to Hunter Weber Hunter and Layton um, have had a tough time shooting in this tournament the Eagles as a whole have, a tough time sh have had a tough time shooting but yesterday specifically I mean Hunter made 3 but at one point he was like 0 for 6 0 for his last 6 and Layton did not make one yesterday on four or five attempts, at least. And they turn it over to start the game. And no good. Rebound goes to Layton. Not Layton, Seth. I was looking at the lineup. Um, from what they said on the bench, number 11, Carter Smith, is their best player, along with Henry Boshoff, I think. 11 and 21. And this Euro is no good. Good pass. Ooh. Draws a foul. And the Eagle is full court pressing. Ooh, they have him trapped in that corner. But he does escape. Just falls onto the hardwood. And JL contests the three. He missed it. And Layton gets the board. Pushing up the court to Hunter in the corner for three. Bouncing no good. That was a contested three. Tough shot. I do think Hunter Weber is much better from the wing. And the three in the corner, no good. Nobody can shoot threes right now. No scoring so far. And Garrett Vinson checked in for Brandon at some point. Layton to Garrett, over to Hunter, pump fake. Moving the ball around, Hunter, that's an interesting shot, ooh. Layton, I honestly thought he was gonna fall, that would have been a tough fall, but he didn't. A foul on Regent Prep. Garrett's ooh, stolen away on the pass to JL. And the three contested by Hunter, no good. Rebound goes to Garrett's. And a lot of scoring so far, zero to zero. Gear it up to JL. Down low to Seth Simonek. And whose prop bets had him scoring first? As he gives the Eagles the lead, two to zero. And the first points of the game. And the three in the corner, there they go. 
That's Henry Bushoff. Henry? Henre? I don't. I don't know. I'm going to call him Henry. Kind of like Henry. Down low, JL post moves. Good. And JL gives them the lead right back, four to three. Garrett, so Layton for three, no good. And a foul. So Regent Prep already has three fouls. Layton Hunter already combining for 0 for 3 from 3. And missed two over to Hunter, back to Garrett. Oh, I thought he was going to shoot it. And Garrett for three, and it's good. And Ethan Monroe is going to check in. And the three, no good. Rebound goes to Regent Prep, assisted by the Eagles. And... Ethan Monroe in for Hunter Weber. This will be Ethan's first time getting like meaningful minutes. And by meaningful, I mean like a game that's not like a blowout. And Seth! Down low. He has four, and it's nine to three. And Regent Prep answers right back, nine to five. Ethan kind of does what Hunter does. Uh, he sits around the wing, shoots threes. Except Hunter sits in the corner. JL to Garrett. Garrett down low to JL. And JL now has four, and it's 11 to 5. Hunter Weber will check back in, and a foul. Hunter Weber into the game for Ethan Monroe. Two minutes, ten seconds. Here left in the first quarter, Eagles with a six-point lead. And the three is no good. Rebound goes to Garrett. They have attempted almost only threes. And J.L. Torres. Now has six. And a 30 second timeout. Huh. Jail Tour is playing really good right now. Oh. I mean, the Eagles really, they're playing good right now. Just again, uh, I hope that they pick it up from three. I mean, Garrett made the last one, but Hunter and Layton are the real shooters on this team. And both have just been ice cold. Now, maybe it's just, um, like, I think Hunter said the rims are weird. I don't I don't know if that's 
if that's viable. It doesn't, I mean, to me, I don't think there's a difference, but obviously I don't play basketball. I'm announcing it, so I could just be dumb. So we'll see if they both, if they fail to improve this game, we'll see if they look against Tulsa's chef on Tuesday, back at home for the first time this season. Neither really got a good look, I guess, against Harding, because that was their last home game, because they beat them by 62 points. They go back to Harding on Friday. Will I be at that game? I don't know. That stadium, or that, that arena, uh, isn't the best, and there's not a lot of space. And if either Eagles teams loses, that would be the biggest shocker of the year to me. That would be a bigger shock than like if the Eagles beat Millwood in football. Who, by the way, in the state championship right now, I don't know if they've won yet. And then best three from Regent Prep. I guess I can pull that up on Squirtle. Layton to Hunter in the corner. Hunter, no good. Now, okay, Hunter has shot so much better from the wing. And the final for the OSSAA state championship, Washington comes out on top 17-14 to for the 2A state championship. And Millwood's five-star receiver can finally go play basketball. They have a 2025 five-star receiver who's better at basketball. It's kind of crazy. He's the number one player in the state in 2025 for both football and basketball. That's that's incredible. And the Eagles get to play him. This year he was injured for football, but they don't play him in basketball. I If he's at Millwood next year, which I don't know, they're losing a lot of players, and he's one of the best players in the country for basketball and football. So I'm sure a lot of teams will want him. Regent Prep holding the ball. This is my favorite. I love when teams do this. It makes me so happy. Over in the corner, so many threes for Regent Prep, and they've only made one. And they back up my statement by going 0 for 2 at the end of the first quarter. So the Eagles will go to the second quarter with an eight-point lead. J.L. Torres leads the team in points with six. Oklahoma Career Tech's been serving up skills for doers just like you for over 100 years. But this ain't your great Grammys of Pop Pop Tech School. Oklahoma's favorite place to learn new skills keeps learning new tricks. Everyone knows the best way to learn is to do it yourself. Sir, you okay? Because you shouldn't have to wait to do what you love. Whatever you choose to do, do you. Oklahoma Career Tech. Now is the time to protect your family with Pioneer Smart Wi-Fi. Internet security is becoming more of a fear every day. Protect your family against malware, viruses, intrusions, cyber attacks, and more. Modern internet deserves modern security. Get the best of both worlds with Pioneer in-home Wi-Fi and the Smart Wi-Fi app. Download the Pioneer Smart Wi-Fi app today or visit GoPioneer.com for more information. And we are back. TV powered by Squirtle, brought to you here from the Frontier Tournament in Frontier. I'm Taylor Laddick, your cameraman, Coach Fuxo. And Garrett Vinson. He's two for two from three. Something the Eagles haven't had this entire tournament. 16 to five now.
Moving the ball around, not much happening. And JL down low, no good, rebound. Was gonna go the way the Eagles, but a foul. And the three, no good. I mean, Regent Prep has to be like one for 10 from three. At this point, the Eagles should just have all five surround the paint. And Garrett Vincent, oh my! He is hot. He has nine, three for three from three. The junior guard playing incredible right now. And Regent Prep calls their second timeout. Dang. This is what the Eagles have needed this entire tournament. Like, they beat Blackwell on Monday pretty handedly, but... With three-point shooting being consistent, they would have won that game by 30. And they would have won yesterday's game with three-point shooting. But, yeah. And today, they're up by 14 on Regent Prep. And that's because Garrett Vincent is three for three from three. And the three finally for Regent Prep is good. I would hope so. They've only shot 12. I don't know if that's accurate, but it seems pretty accurate. So Leighton, Seth down low to JL. And confusion. The ball goes to Regent Prep. It's really, it's really weird. I call every other team just by their school name and not their logo, but I've never called just our team like Hennessy, or I don't usually. I just call them the Eagles. I don't know. I guess it's just familiarity. And Hunter Weber. Ooh. The lob layup, no good. And oh, goodness. Another missed three for Regent Prep. They have made three. Okay, not even. They've made two, actually. Looking at the scoreboard, it's impossible for them to make three. And Garrett Vincent just misses a fourth. Three for three. Or was. Now he's three for four. He leads the team in points with nine, Garrett does. JL behind him with six. The Eagles still have an 11 point lead. Down low and a travel. Hunter in the corner for three. I, I, I mean, dude. Go, 
Eagles get the ball up to Garrett. Passes too high and Regent Prep. We'll get into the double digits. 19 to 10 now. And JL Torres, it's good. And it's 21-10. Eagles not allowing any leeway for Regent to get back into this game. In the corner for three, no good. He has airballed his last two shots. And Garrett. Ball goes out of bounds via Regent Prep, so Layton will, no, Garrett will inbound. JL down low, no good. Rebound goes to Regent Prep. And the three is good. Carter Smith from range. Trying to get a three-point shot and a foul. Regent Prep has five fouls. The Eagles also have five. JL drives in on four and draws a foul. JL is money from the line, so I don't see any you know, in a run. I'm gonna not jinx it. Makes the first, of course. Yeah. It's almost a guarantee every time. And Seth Simedek checks in for Jail Torres. Oh. And there's a travel and a half. JL Torres in for Brandon Rodriguez. JL is double teamed every single time he touches the ball in the paint, which honestly is fair. Yeah, everyone just swarms towards him. That was a good. Uh, representation. Uh, he had three around him. But he will go to the line for a one and one. Makes the first. <laughs> Doesn't make the second. That's honestly a surprise. 24-13, a minute 30 left here in the second quarter.
and a charge. I think. Never mind. Dude. I gotta look this up. And the shot is missed. I don't know what happened. I'm trying to look up the <laughs> the difference. Between, well, I know the difference between a blocking foul and a charging foul, but like the difference in what the ref will do. I'm sure, I will get made fun of for this. Oh. That's the difference. He does this. I thought this was charging. That's a block. Okay. I did it. I have come to terms with my troubles. So, okay. I don't know why I thought that was that. Okay. Uh, JL Torres, by the way, scores again. 26 13, and he has 13. 30 seconds left here in the second quarter. Whew. Make that 15, moving the ball around the arc. They try to get threes, but like, why? <laughs> Two, one, fade away three. Honestly, pretty close. But we will go to half. J.O. Torres has 13, and the Eagles lead by 13. Number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at scordle.com slash stream. At Maple's Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. System? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. 
This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Need fuel for your vehicle? We'll take care of you at 81 Plus Services, or you may know us as 81 Cross Services, located at 410 North Main in Hennessy. We meet your 24-hour fueling needs with diesel, dyed diesel, and 100% gasoline. We accept most major credit cards such as Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and the Wex Fleet Cards. Come by and see us. We are proud supporters of all our Hennessy Eagles. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Eagle Propane of Hennessy is proud to support all of our area high school athletes. Let them service all of your propane needs. They have the experience to handle your needs large and small. Find out what they can do for you by calling 405-853-4445. Eagle Propane is at the corner of highways 81 and 51 on the north side of Hennessy. They are proud to service the Hennessy, Enid, and Kingfisher areas for all of your propane needs. Oklahoma Career Tech's been serving up skills for doers just like you for over 100 years. But this ain't your great Grammys of Pop Pop Tech School. Oklahoma's favorite place to learn new skills keeps learning new tricks. Everyone knows the best way to learn is to do it yourself. Sir, you okay? Because you shouldn't have to wait to do what you love. Whatever you choose to do, do you. Oklahoma Career Tech. Now is the time to protect your family with Pioneer Smart Wi-Fi. Internet security is becoming more of a fear every day. Protect your family against malware, viruses, intrusions, cyber attacks, and more. Modern internet deserves modern security. Get the best of both worlds with Pioneer in-home Wi-Fi and the Smart Wi-Fi app. Download the Pioneer Smart Wi-Fi app today or visit GoPioneer.com for more information. number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. At Maple's Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples, Nicks, and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help.
it time for your school or business to purchase a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Need fuel for your vehicle? We'll take care of you at 81 Plus Services, or you may know us as 81 Cross Services, located at 410 North Main in Hennessy. We meet your 24-hour fueling needs with diesel, dyed diesel, and 100% gasoline. We accept most major credit cards such as Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and the Wex Fleet Cards. Come by and see us. We are proud supporters of all our Hennessy Eagles. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Eagle Propane of Hennessy is proud to support all of our area high school athletes. Let them service all of your propane needs. They have the experience to handle your needs large and small. Find out what they can do for you by calling 405-853-4445. Eagle Propane is at the corner of highways 81 and 51 on the north side of Hennessy. They are proud to service the Hennessy, Enid, and Kingfisher areas for all of your propane needs. Oklahoma Career Tech's been serving up skills to doers just like you for over 100 years. But this ain't your great Grammys of Pop Pop Tech School. Oklahoma's favorite place to learn new skills keeps learning new tricks. Everyone knows the best way to learn is to do it yourself. Sir, you okay? Because you shouldn't have to wait to do what you love. Whatever you need to do, do you. Oklahoma Career Tech. And we're back for the third quarter. Hennessy Regent Prep. Hennessy leads 26-13. Jail Torres almost has more points than Regent Prep. He's tied, actually. Both have 13. One's a full team and one's just Jail Torres. Eagles have been without their main facilitator this tournament, uh, with James Sims. See, not only is James Sims debatably the best player, but I don't even know if it's debatable. James Sims is James Sims might just be the best player. Depends on who you ask, but I'm sure the team would agree. Maybe I'll get yelled at. I don't really care. Um, I think James is the best player, but he takes a lot of attention, which gets more open shots for the rest of the team. Outside of him, JL is their best player, but JL is also a post. And while he takes a lot of attention, because when he gets the ball, he demands, like, there's three people around him. But, I mean, and that ball is stolen away. He in prep. Oh, he missed the fast break layup. Wow. Down low. But they recover. JL doesn't do as much for, you know, getting open looks as a center. And Layton Schultz, there he goes. Maybe Layton Schultz can get hot from three. 
It's his first points of the night. And good contest from J.L. Torres in an air ball. And Layton shoots the three, no good. Twenty-nine seventeen. Six thirty left here in the third quarter. Down low, missed shot. And Layton to Garrett. Down low to JL on two, no good. Rebound for Hunter Weber. He escapes to Garrett. And JL to Hunter in the corner for three. And Hunter Weber makes it from the corner. Him and Layton both knocked down their first shots of the half. Layton did miss his second, but. And Sassimonek misses. No, I don't know why I thought Sassimonek gets the board. He was not even on offense. And Layton shoots the three. Layton shoot. Now has six. And finally. The Eagles have consistently knocked down threes. If they had done that this whole tournament, not only would they have killed Blackwell, but they would also probably be playing for the championship right now with what would have been a big win over Kellyville. If you take away the probably 12, 13, maybe 14 missed threes from Hunter and Layton. Probably 12. I don't know if it was 14, but it wasn't good. And what a shot, ooh, a travel. Layton down to JL, to Garrett, ooh, pump faked, Layton to Hunter in the corner, ooh, just missed, he gets the board, put up, and Hunter Weber has five, recovers the missed three and turns it into two. So Hunter and Layton have 11 in the second half so far. And goodness, I feel bad for 14. Uh, he's airballed three times at least today, and Leighton Schultz, and one. He is going now. Finally gets hot. The girls won their game in a nail biter um, as they claimed third place in the tournament. I think the Eagles are also playing for third place. I don't know. Are they? Are we playing for third? Third? Are we playing for third? Okay. So if they pull out the win here, the Eagles would or both Eagles teams would claim third in the Frontier Tournament. Mm -hmm. 
39-17. And Layton will shoot his and one free throw. To give the Eagles an even 40 if he makes it. He has eight all in the second half so far. Make that nine. And the Eagles, 23-point lead. See, the Eagles, like the boys, are going to get, they're going to get third in this tournament unless a monumental sell. But really, they should be playing for a championship. I mean, like, that loss to Kellyville is just, it shouldn't have happened. They are probably the best team in this tournament. It would be them versus Frontier, and that would be a really good game, but I th honestly think they would pull it out. But, alas, they are not. And a mid-range, what a shot! That is, um, I would tell you, but I don't have the lineup. There we go. Carter Smith, the senior. He has eight. Henry Bischoff has nine. And Seth misses the layup. And the three, no good. Layton saves it to Hunter. Garrett to Hunter in the corner for three, no good. Two minutes to play here in the third quarter. A 21 point lead for Hennessy. And taken away. Brandon tipped it. And Layton. Ooh. Draws a foul. And he goes one for two from the line. 41-19, and Layton has 10. And the three, no good. I wish I was keeping track. I think I'm going to start doing that, but Regent Prep, I mean, impressively bad from three. And Layton's just holding it. Been a nice layup for Layton. And a foul. Weston Smith checks in for Layton. Ethan Monroe checks in for Hunter. As we are 30 seconds out of the fourth quarter.
taken away. Weston up to Ethan, down to, J or not JL, uh, Garrett. And Garrett has 11. He's having a good day today. I believe he's four for five. And the three is no good. Rebound for Ethan. Trying to save it, doesn't. And <laughs> the floater at the end of the quarter is no good. So the Eagles will go into the fourth with a 43 to 19 lead. Now is the time to protect your family with Pioneer Smart Wi-Fi. Internet security is becoming more of a fear every day. Protect your family against malware, viruses, intrusions, cyber attacks, and more. Modern internet deserves modern security. Get the best of both worlds with Pioneer in-home Wi-Fi and the Smart Wi-Fi app. Download the Pioneer Smart Wi-Fi app today or visit GoPioneer.com for more information. number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at scordle.com slash stream. We are back for the fourth quarter. And JL draws a foul. Up to Garrett for three, no good. Ooh. And tipped by Layton and taken away by Layton. Up the courts. And hit out of bounds by Regent Prep. And JL draws a foul. Either go to the line. First free throw is good. Yeah, I think Frontier is probably going to go. They're probably going to win the tournament in, for the boys and the girls. I think the girls are easily the best team here. I mean, I haven't. From what I saw from Frontier, they they looked super good. I would say we will see, but I won't. And ooh, Brandon Rodriguez got up and blocked the three. So Garrett's ooh loses the ball. And a timeout, so we will go to a break. Eagles, 44-19. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people. And our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. 
We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples, Nicks, and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. Oh, seven minutes here to play in the fourth quarter. Eagles have the ball. And JL goes up. And a foul on the Eagles, I believe. Yeah. Oh. Up the court, Hunter steals it. Fast break layup, he is blocked. Out of bounds. And Hunter gets his layup. He now has seven, yeah. JL has 14, Layton has 11. No, Layton has 10, Garrett has 11. And in the corner for three, Regent Prep. Um, they would kill teams if they got open from three, but they do not. I guess they get open for three if they made threes. And Garrett Vincent. Maybe they need to recruit Garrett. Garrett is four for six from three today. He has 14. And no good. Laying up to JL. And JL is going to shoot it in his eye. No good. Eagles have a pretty comfortable 30 point lead. As every sign that you can find points to an Eagles win. And Hunter contests the three, no good. And Hunter will shoot. And Hunter, I'm telling you, he's better from the wing. And Hunter now has double digits for the first time this season with 10. I'm, I'm going to tell Hunter that he's better from the wing. I don't care that he made two from the corner today. He's better from the... No, he didn't. He made one from the corner. He shot one from the wing today and he made it. Unless he shoots another. And Layton layup and one. So 54-19. This is the free throw. Four minutes, 20 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. A lot of fours. Four minutes left to play, fourth quarter. Eagles have four fouls. Um, JL and Garrett both have 14. wonder if I can find any more fouls or fours. I don't think so. 
Ethan's number is 24. <laughs> Uh, number two on their team has four fouls, zero points. That was uncalled for. Jail Torres, fadeaway shot, no good. Four minutes, no, 350 left to play. In the corner for three, there they go. Feels like that's their first made three in a quarter at least. Um, Henry Bischoff has 12 Henry Bischoff and Carter Smith have 20, and their team has 22. Elijah Haney is the only other person to score, and he has more air balls than points. I'm not even, uh, that's not even a lie. He literally does. Garrett's tough layup, no good. Hey, Kevin Trillo going to check in along with Colby Painter. Ooh, gets JL to jump, goes up, misses the layup. And he steps out. So, Colby and Kevin will check in. Kevin for Hunter and Colby for JL. So the court consists of four juniors and Kevin Trillo. Garrett's no good. Rebound for Colby. No, it doesn't. Or, no, he doesn't. Two minutes here to play. Gunnar Carthel will check in. Great tan line from Gunnar. Looks like he's been farming. Gunner came in for Garrett. Not enough seats on the bench for Garrett. That's unfortunate. Weston down to Kobe. And a jump ball goes the way of Regent Prep. A minute 30 here on the fourth. Eagles with a small 32 point lead and that is the highest arcing shot I've seen all day. That ball almost touched the rafters. Not literally but honestly it got close. And Ethan Monroe for three. Ethan shoots better than all of Regent Prep's team. All of them. <laughs> one of these days I'm, there's going to be an army of just teams that I make fun of and they're all going to attack me yeah. Blackwell's football team Regent Prep's basketball team Harding's basketball teams with an S um Probably a lot of other football teams. I was on a rampage this year. But 35 seconds left. Ethan for three, no good. So he goes one for two, unless he gets another shot up. Not bad.
And Kevin with the incredible rebound. So other than minutes, he logs something on the stat line. Oh, Jessen came in. Came in for Gunner. And Gunner put his long sleeve shirt back on. How? This gym is so hot. All right. Your final. Eagles on top, 59-22. Nobody really led the team at points. I forget who even did. I, it was probably JL with like 15. But everyone was pretty close. Thank you all for watching. Um, the Eagles, girls and boys, both get third in the Frontier Tournament. They play at home versus Tulsa Chef on Tuesday. Thank you all for watching. Have a good night. I'm Taylor Larry, your cameraman. Thank you to Coach Fuchsa. And good night, everybody.